Hello there, Rita. Nice and warm in Nottingham for the tennis uh, today. And we've got sunshine across many parts of the country. This is the picture in West Wales along the coast in the sunshine. Not sunny everywhere, of course. Our weather is quite variable and it's been uh, quite cloudy and damp across some southern counties of England. We're seeing slow improvements here as that damp weather beginning to pull away. But now let's move away from the UK briefly. Look at this cloud here. This is actually an X tropical storm called Alex. It gave some flooding rains over the weekend in Florida and also the Bahamas and that deep area of low pressure is getting steered to the UK. Now we're not going to see much rain from that at all. We've got a weather front bringing some patchy rain into Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest later on Thursday and ahead of that maybe one or two showers but some spells of sunshine. The wind's yet to really pick up and so it'll be warm in the sunshine temperatures on Thursday similar to what we're seeing at the moment in actual fact. Our recent computer models have tended to steer that deep area of low pressure, the X storm, away from the UK. So the winds now look less windy, less strong really across uh, the UK on Friday. And we're drawing in some warm air with that X tropical system as well. Hello. Good afternoon. Well, it was a very pretty start to the day. Certainly the best of the day's sunshine was earlier on this morning, as recorded by our weather watchers in Twickenham, in Islington, and finally in Mitcham. But particularly towards southern home counties, it's now a much cloudier picture, and we are set to keep that cloud, maybe a few outbreaks of drizzle for much of the rest of the afternoon. Don't forget, Dev has been a Strictly contestant, and so, of course, I asked, and he accepted. And if you think I've got a loud laugh, Listen to Dev. Um, around here a little okay. bit. <laughs> I've got no idea. And all I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to go forwards, yeah. I'm going to come back. Oh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Now that's a little bit of London. I won't forget. <laughs> In a hurry. I absolutely love that. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Did you enjoy hanging out with him? Oh, he's so fun and he really warmed up to me. I think at first he's like, who is this girl? <laughs> I've never heard a laugh like it. Oh, he's got a brilliant <laughs> laugh as Debbie, really does. The weather was gorgeous today, wasn't it? Is it going to continue? Well, we've got bits and bobs. We're going to have some showers tomorrow, Thursday. Got anything nice going on on Thursday? Well, I might be going to the palace on Thursday. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's looking all right on Thursday. Okay, it might good. get a bit cloudier through the day, right. but I think you're going to be dry for most of the day. And then actually, at the moment, the weekend looks rather nice. Let's take a look. Hello again. Well, a beautiful, calm, serene start to the day at Bushy Park. Oh, what a lucky heron, I think. Hope it is anyway. Uh, so quite nice and warm today, a little bit humid. It's going to be warm again tomorrow. And again, it might be a touch muggy. We've got some heavy showers around, though, and they'll be quite gusty as they come through. But it is looking drier and nicer in teeth. Thursday. So we've got that grass and nettle pollen causing problems at the moment. Not too bad tomorrow if we get those showers, uh, but the, those levels are creeping up to very high, I'm afraid, for the end of the working week with the finer conditions. That's it for now. See you later on. Cheerio. Um, is it tennis weather? It has been, George. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person if you want some good weather because we'll be dodging the downpours uh, tomorrow. The showers are coming back in Nottingham across many places. After what's been a largely fine day today, the best of the sunshine in Scotland and Northern Ireland. But the weather's already changing across southwest England. It's just smiling, but then you always are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It, well, it, was, it was a better day of weather, I think, today, was it? There was that grey, drizzly bit in the middle, but we did top and tail it with some blue sky and sunshine. Um, as you can see from our weather, Watch a photo also from Soho here, from um, well, from Carnaby Street. Blue sky as we went through the morning. Lots of sunshine around. It was a lovely start to the day, and then of course it just clouded over. We saw some outbreaks of drizzle, a few showers here and there, but we ended again with more blue sky and sunshine. Love this weather watcher photo here from Hampton Wick. Of course, there are a few showers just moving into western areas of the capital at the moment, so you might well catch one or two of those as we head through the next hour or so. But again, some sunny spells here and there. Now as we head through tomorrow there's more wet weather in the forecast again in the form of showers. Some of those showers possibly heavy maybe a rumble or two of thunder as well but there'll also be some sunny spells around as well.
It's been a mixture of cloud and sunny spells for much of the country today, but there's a warning that that could all change when the tail end of ex-tropical storm Alex, guess who, arrives from America, and our very own Alex is here. I tell you what, forget the storm for the moment. What about the pollen count? Do you see what it does to me? <laughs> You've been suffering a little bit through the programme, <laughs> but it's not particularly high today, but what it takes you, it takes you. What you need, Mary, is a deluge of rain to take that pollen out yes. of the air. Uh, they've certainly seen quite a bit of rain over the other side of the Atlantic. Yes, Storm Alex, which is the first, first named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season, uh, arrived over the weekend and did bring a deluge of rain. These are scenes from Miami where it brought up to 11 inches of rain, causing flooding. We had sustained wind speeds of 60 miles per hour. Uh, not hurricane status, but that's when this, the wind speeds have to touch 74 in order for it to be called a hurricane. Nevertheless, it still brought a period of wet and windy weather to uh, southern parts of Florida. And we're actually going to see some of the effects of this as we head through towards the latter parts of this week. Yes, our old friend, the jet stream, the Atlantic jet stream, is going to pull in this storm. It's going to head towards us. It's this area of low pressure. So to head towards Thursday and Friday, we are going to have a period of wet and windy weather affecting northern parts of the UK. We could see winds up to around 45 miles per hour. Now, the north are no stranger to strong winds, so I don't think we'll have any warnings, but all the same, unseasonably windy for this time of year.